What is up, everybody? You know, I'm not gonna believe what Ringside Collectibles sent us. This is truly incredible. We have never received something so insane before from Ringside Collectibles to Ryder. And you wanna stick around and see what the goods are that we got. You're not gonna believe it. It's something that we've never reviewed on Ryder's channel before. Just wanna give a quick shout out to who? To Ringside Collectibles for sending us this package. Ringside crew, if any of you are watching this, thank you so, so very much for this. I wish you guys could have saw the excitement on Ryder's face when he got home from school and opened this thing up. This is insane. Show everyone at home what's in here and what you're gonna be reviewing. So this is the Fail to Fail series for anyone who may not be familiar with it. Of course, we are not familiar with it. Never had these before. So if we are not saying something right or are not up on our terms with these, please forgive us. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Who do we got, Ryder? We have Matt Cardona and the Road Warriors and Dan Housen. Whoa, dude. Hold on, hold on. I know there's a lot in here. I know, I get it. Let's go one figure at a time. Who are we gonna show everyone at home first? The Cardona. You got the Matt Cardona and Yes, we have edited that part out. There's a, you know, a uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin gesture right there. <laughs> we want to make sure that we keep everything family friendly. So, yes, that is edited out on our behalf. Ringside exclusive. This is not it. There's a lot more in here. What else do we got? The Chase version of Matt Cardona versus Nick Gage. What a crazy match that was. I can remember you and I watching that, and you saw the beating that Matt Cardona was taking, you said, Dad, Matt Cardona is not having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> we will be unboxing and opening up all of these figures, so make sure to stay tuned. What else comes in this Bell to Bell series? The Steiner Brothers and Big Papa Punk. Pump. Pump. <laughs> Scott Steiner. You got the Steiners. You got the Chase Steiners. You got the Big Bad Booty Daddy himself. LOD Legion of Doom and very nice, very evil. Danhausen. For what, son? I hate for you to have to rip these boxes open, but I don't think that we have much of a choice, wouldn't you say? Yes. Now, first off, we're gonna start out with the Danhausen Bell to Bell. For the folks at home who may have never reviewed these, what are some cool things you see about the packaging? That it says Bell to Bell on the top, and the cardboard is thick. Super thick, I agree, check that out. Ringside exclusive right there. Ryder, what kind of accessories does this Dan Housen come with? It comes with a cape, a bag full of money, well, a bag. A bag, yeah, a money bag, let's just say that. And a jar full of teeth. And what does this say? It says, buy that Dan Housen or be cursed. Yes, yes, he is very nice and very evil. There's the back. Pause now if you would like to read it. Wait, there we go. Now, Ryder, go ahead and do your thing and make those MOC collectors sick as you love to do. <laughs> That's my job. Now, with the Bell to Bell Dan housing out and the accessories, what do you think of these so far? I think that it's pretty cool. Let's take a closer look. It's like a clump of teeth. It's like a clump of teeth. It's kind of hard to see that it is teeth, but if you follow Dan Housen, you know this is kind of his gimmick. Take a look here at that. Ryder, is there something in there? Oh yeah, I think that there is. Oh, <laughs> what? No way. That is so cool. It's little fake Dan Housen money. Wow, that is cool. Next time, me and you go out to Target, I'm gonna use this today. You can try. I'm not sure if they'll <laughs> accept that as a uh, form of currency. What's your thoughts on this thing, man? It's unlike anything that you've ever collected before. Yeah, I really like the like the swirly design. Like, what do you think of these cloth pants? It's it's something that we're not used to. And you got the cape right here. What's, what kind of designs have we got on that one? 
Dude, that'd be cool just to throw in your your AEW Dan House and super yeah. cool. Got some tattoos right there. Oh, didn't even notice those. Got them on his wrist. Man, super sick. Throw that cape around the right way and show us how the articulation works. The articulation is with the legs. So you got some you got some movement in the legs? No ab crunch. Okay. And then arm rotation. And then head. It's hard to do. But you got a full 360 on that. Well half. Half. <laughs> it's more than what I got. Next up is the big papa pump scott steiner hello if you hear me you don't know nothing about that take a look at the the card first before you tear into it whoa dude it's got the the headdress right there oh yeah dude this was such an insane like this is early big papa pump right here back whenever he first transformed with the blonde hair and everything this dude is out of control i know you know about scott steiner you've met him he was super cool nothing like the big bad booty daddy. What does it say here on the bottom side? The peak of the genetic freak. Got another head scan right there. Take a look at the back. There he is. Look at those peaks. There's only two things that Big Papa Pump cares about, and that's his freaks and his peaks. Pause now if you would like to read the back of this. These things are giving you a little bit of uh, resistance, it looks like, son. Never! And the genetic freak is out. Ryder, dude, I'm sorry. I've got to steal this from you. This has got to go on my nightstand. No. Yes. No. <laughs> Talk to us about the headdress. Is it removable? Yes. What about the sunglasses? Yes. Are they removable? Yes. Maybe. No. Well, let's not need. You gotta take off the headdress. Okay, gotta take. Okay, we'll get in that in just a minute. Okay. What do we got right here? Superstar, you just see Big Papa Pump right there in the middle of that store. Turn it to the back, Big Papa Pump. How we get off this headdress? There we go. And what kind of head scan do you got right here? He's screaming. Kind of like a, hey, who's? Oh no, it can't come off. Oh shoot, I'm glad you noticed that. Here's the headdress off of Scott Stein. That's cool that that's removable. I was thinking in the beginning that it might not be. Yeah, me too. Let's pop off that head scan and throw that one on and uh, see how easy it is. We wanted to record this part for anyone who may be new to the bell to bell figure such as us and wanted to show you guys what the peg looks like right here. You see it just kind of pulls off. It wasn't nothing no. too hard to begin with. It's a little scary because we yeah. didn't know what to expect, but it should just be just a uh, you see a little twist and push down action, and there it Ooh. is. <laughs> Was you scared? Yeah, and it also hurt my hands. Let's take a look at Scotty Steiner right here with this alternate head scan. Which one you like better? Mm, that one. Why? Because of the, head, the sunglasses and headdress? Yeah. Dude, you kind of got like three different versions of Scott Steiner here. You got the yeah. Scott Steiner with the headdress. You know, there was a point in time back in WCW when he ditched the headdress, he just come out with sunglasses. And then you got the Scott Steiner without the headdress or the sunglasses. Super dope. What are you going with next, dude? The Macardona versus Nick Gage. Unbloody. Unbloody. <laughs> uh, that's, that's one way to say it. Dude, that thing comes with a lot, I see. And there is the box ringside exclusive from GCW. We've watched those guys a couple of times and uh, yeah, it's different, it's cool. Uh, but for Ryder, you know, all the blood, we don't really watch it too, too much. Yeah. So let's unbox that thing. We did, however, just find something that we are gonna have to blur out. Yes. So we will get into that here momentarily. There is so much to talk about. This thing comes with a lot of unique accessories. Ryder, go for it. First, starting off with Nick Gage, he comes with a pizza cutter and invisible arms. Look at the unique poses, which I know that's like his thing when he does whenever he comes to the ring. Look at the unique poses of these arms are in. That is something extremely different that we have never encountered anything like this. Let's take a look here at his shirt. It says HC, the man. And on the back, Nick Gage. I think that's his HC. We don't know too much about Nick Gage. You know, we did get to see his epic match with Chris Jericho at Fight for the Fallen. That 
that was probably my favorite match. That was nuts. I remember we did not have tickets until like a couple days before the show. And that was absolutely one of the selling points of going to that. Not because we're huge deathmatch people, but because seeing Nick Gage on that stage, we knew that it was gonna be something crazy. And it was, dude. You got GCW right here and MDK right there. If you don't know what that means, uh, we're not gonna tell you, just go look that up on Google. It will not be hard to find at all. Tell us about this backdrop. It has flames and a fence and barbed wire. What is this? The GCW title. Which Matt Cardona took from the man Nick Gage. This is cool. This is a huge belt and definitely something that we did not have in our collection before. What other accessories we got right here? A unbroken, well, a full light tube and a half of the light tube. Like he broke it over his knee and that's what you got. And dude, you was not joking. What did you say about this thing earlier? That it hurts. Yeah, cause it's sharp. What have we got with Matt Cardona? Interchangeable arms. What else? Is that, oh, that's it, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> and here we go. There is formerly known as Zack Ryder. Of course, we had to blur that out. We had to blur that out. <laughs> Super crazy to see these things on wrestling figures, but absolutely cool. <laughs> Nonetheless, Ryder, pop off one of these arms and see how easy that is to put one back on. Not easy. Well, easy. <laughs> is this one, I think? Oh, no. Wrong one. No, that, that shows the middle thing. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Let me see if we can have that on here. That's a kid-friendly channel. Are you crazy? I didn't know that. <laughs> it's okay, dude. I didn't know it either. If you want to see a bird flying around in Ryder's video, in this video, throw that on. Please forgive us. We did not notice that. <laughs> Yeah, a struggle fest with that thing. <laughs> we finally got the arm on Matt Cardona right here. We put the <coughs> kind of like balled up fist, you know, flexing his muscles right there. It's cool. It's very different, again, from the style that, that we're used to reviewing. And you got the MC Matt Cardona logo on his tights and all over his knee pads and all that. It's super cool. Let's hop into something else. And next, we're going to do a little bit of tag team action. Who is this? The Steiner Brothers. Rick and Scott Steiner. Who, 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 who? The dog face gremlin. Oh, my goodness. Look at how perfect these things look. What do you think of the artwork on the back of these boxes? I think it looks pretty good. That's a super talented, super talented artist they got to do this here. What does this say? Prepare to be synergized. <laughs> Steiner rise. <laughs> synergized. But you know what, dude? I wouldn't, you know, I can't read and spell. Props to you for trying. And here on the back, you got the dynamic duo from Michigan. Pause if you would like to read. What would you just oh in about? This. I vaguely remember that gear from my childhood. That's super sick. What's cool about the, the arms of these jackets? That they are vinyl. And they feel like a vinyl, kind of like pleather filling. And you got the cloth right here. And let's see here how hard these jackets are to get off. Not hard at all. Well, if you're doing it with one hand, it's gonna uh, be Yeah, it's gonna be extremely hard. Okay, say, say that again as you was taking the jacket off of Scotty Stoner. That it comes off easy. But why did that, why did you take the head off? Because it had hair on like... Rick Steiner. Yeah, on like Rick Steiner. So in, instead of risking damaging the figure, Ryder just popped the head off. And here's a look at that Scott Steiner head scan. And dude, it's so weird to see this Scott Steiner because I'm so used to, to that Scott Steiner. Like that's the... Oh, I thought that, that was... Who? No, that's Rick. Oh. That, this, this guy right here, that is Big Bad Booty Daddy. Holler if you hear me, my freaks and my peaks, Scott Steiner in his younger years. I did not know that. Take a look at Rick and Scott now without the jackets. What, you know, might 
want to show you guys these collegiate jackets super awesome touch to these figures what colors do we got on them Ryder? black red and yellow you probably don't remember this guy but whenever you first took those off it reminded me of a wrestler from back in the day named adam bomb he had very similar similar colors and wore um, like a singlet kind of like this and here's the head scan on the dog face gremlin rick steiner got the amateur wrestling headgear on right there again here's scotty what color boots we got yellow and black well let's continue this tag team action next up is the road warriors hawk and animal look at this ring gear man look at the spikes all over that thing yeah and what does it say right here we snack on danger dine on death the iconic LOD doesn't get too much more iconic than that. Now, I know that you know next to nothing about them because I never really watched a lot of LOD outside of Attitude Air LOD, and that was not the best version of them. So forgive us for our lack of knowledge on Hawk and Animal. Here is the back of the box if you want to read this little read up. Pause now. Without a doubt, the very first LOD figures in Ryder's collection. And Ryder, what did you learn very quickly about these spikes? That these are sharp. Yes, they are. They like are pointy. Right here, I have Road Warrior Hawk. And as you see, the entrance vest, super easy to get on and off. Boom, you got the classic Road Warriors gear right there. And let's take a look at Animal. Even though, Ryder, I didn't watch a lot of the Road Warriors growing up, I can tell you one thing. These are two bad dudes. <laughs> no one would mess with these guys. And, you know, it might do me and you some good to go back and go watch some of the classic LOD matches from, from WCW and WWF from back in the day. And check out the haircut on Animal. Would you rock that haircut? No. What about this? No, the, the reverse no. mohawk. No, no. <laughs> you know that Papa actually had that one time. Could you imagine that? Comment down below which hairstyle you'd rather rock. You gotta pick one. Would you pick the reverse mohawk here or would you pick this animal hairstyle? Comment no. now. And we're about to get steinerized again. Not sure which one here is the chase variant. This version or this version. Got them both. Take a look at the back of the box real quick, see if it's really any different. It is, they they got the different color gear here. Yeah. You got prepared to be standardized right there. And, oh, my bad, Ryder. Oh, I no. did not mean. The head slipped. I did not mean to do that. I know you're wanting to keep that MOC, my bad. We have been standardized again. Here is the Michigan, I'm not sure if it's Michigan State. I know it has something, to, something to do with Michigan. We're not really football fans. I know that the Steiners did attend the school of Michigan or the College of Michigan University, so I'm sure that's what this has to do with. Rudder, does the head scans really look that much different? No. But what is, let's just do some comparison. We got everybody right here. Well, you know what? Their gear actually does not match here. What color boots Rick got on? Red. And he's got more of like a, a blue kind of theme going on here. You, of course, got some yellow and green in there. And Scotty right here. It's got like a mixture of like all patterns. Dude, that's super <laughs> sick with the pink right there. You know, we're both fans of the color pink. Here is some comparisons. And let's throw the jackets in too so you can see it all. Comment down below which one of these versions of the Steiners is your favorite. And we still got one more to go. Before we hop into this, gonna let you guys know, this is like a blood and guts kind of thing. We are going to put the video in black and white here, just because we wanna make sure that we're being respectful of anyone who may not be a fan of this kind of stuff. And we wanna make sure that we don't restrict anyone from watching and or enjoying this video. And Ryder, what do we got here? The Matt Cardona versus Nick Gage 
Blood and guts. Well, no, not blood. Yeah, no, it's not blood and guts. I mean, match. yeah, you got the ringside exclusive, meaning you can only pick these awesome bell to bell figures up where, Ryder? At uh, ringside collectibles. And use code word Riderwood and it'll save you 10% off at checkout. That's right. Right there on the side, you got a cartoon version of Matt and Nick Gage. Oh, and boom, there they are on the back. I don't know if mom's gonna be too happy about this, but let's hop on into it. And starting off with a backdrop. What do we got? A less bloody version. Well, yeah, less flamey version and bloody version. And what kind of accessories do we get with this one? The broken light tube and the unbroken light tube. A pizza cutter, Nick Gage hands, and... Arms, actually. Yeah, arms. And then Matt Cardona's... Arms. Love your arms. We did get another not index finger Matt Cardona <laughs> right there. And what, what, what else do we get right here, dude? The GCW title. GCW world title. You see Matt's, well, you can't see because this video is in black and white. Again, sorry guys. We just want to make sure that for the people watching that may have a weak stomach at home, at home, we want to make sure that they're still able to enjoy this video as well. You've got Velcro shirts on Nick and on Matt. They are and, removable. And I was wrong about taking this off. I don't think that it is possible. So to... you just want to be careful of that, yes. right? Understood. All right, got a couple questions for you now. With all of the Bell to Bell and the Matt Cardona, Nick Gage figures out of the package. Which one of these is your favorite? And really? Yeah, these and that. What is that? Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner, okay. And these two and those two. I was not expecting you to say that about the bloody ones. I know how you are whenever you know there's a lot of blood on wrestling. You're kind of like, damn, this is making me a little uncomfortable. Cool, though. It's There's a lot. This is on, on like a spec. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite accessory between any of the Bell to Bell figures? The Dan Money. The Dan Housen Money? Ringside Collectibles. If anyone from the Ringside Crew is watching, thank you so much again. Ryder will enjoy these figures I'm rich. for a very, very long time. Don't forget, you can only pick these up at Ringside Collectibles. Use code word Ryder Wood. Save yourself 10% at checkout. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below. Let us know which one out of these Bell to Bell sets do you like the best. Thank you all for spending a little bit of your time with us. And that's it for me, Ryder. Bye!